Hey, Dimitri. Um, thank you for the turnaround. Today, uh, we're talking briefly about uh, basically the Frozen Shade Streets. So uh, it's an enemy type that we have in the game. And uh, it's a bit of a minor enemy, but uh, a lot of fun. Has rotating shards, has shard shield. Um, and um, they're, they make you, they kind of put up, they, they keep you on your toes. They keep you on your toes. So um, real quick, this is primarily just art feedback. So Dimitri, uh, again, thank you for this. So I was looking at where we're at with uh, with her and I really like where we're at overall. Um, I really like what we've got with the hair. The hair is fantastic. It's long and wavy. Um, the outstretched arms are great. I like how we have this kind of fusion between the uh, the skin, like this, this nice silky smooth skin um, into um, essentially more of this kind of ice sharded body. It's almost like, a, almost like armor, if you will. Um, and so I think as I was looking at this, the dark spots are okay, but I feel like um, in my mind, it's got a lot more of like a crystal refraction. So it's brighter, more glowy. So I just did a couple crude explorations. You can interpret this and do way better than I can. But uh, to give you an example, so um, the very base is here, like this is just a crude outline, but I feel like I want to see, like I, it doesn't have to make a lot of sense, but it's almost like the, the light is caught into these refractive crystals and it creates this kind of outer, outer glow. So you know how I am with glows. So I thought we could maybe add a little bit of a, a glow to the, to the outside um, when we kind of do our final render pass. Um, and then one other thing, and this is probably much bigger, um, I feel like the vibrance of the glow, again, this is just a sort of like what I'm thinking, but I feel like we need to have much, a much brighter um, contrast with the, um, with the frozen shards. I think we can keep some of the darks here as well. So a combination of those two things is kind of what I was thinking for the turnaround. Um, I know this is slightly different in terms of color palette, but I really feel like it, it captures more of that like crystalline surface. Uh, other than that, uh, since we're here, and we're about ready to go into animation. Excuse me, I just ate dinner, so I got hiccups and burps. So um, yeah, so then animation-wise, um, the hair the hair has to wave, like nice wavy hair. I think we could do this probably pretty well in four frames. We talked about the crystals with and without, so we'll do a version of that. They're mainly crystals are uh, spinning, rotating, so that'll be fun to do as well. And again, if, if we think we need eight frames to do it, um, we can, I think, if it needs to be smoother because we've got a little bit more of this like, uh, hair is definitely hard to do in wavy in four frames, but we'll see. Um, and then uh, I think here I'd love to see if the, the arms come forward. So um, basically we can bring her arm forward maybe a little bit here. Uh, let me add a layer, put it on the top. Yeah, so I was thinking that the arm kind of undulates forward a little bit. So she kind of like is doing this thing where she's pulling them forward, right? Um, and that will also give us a nice separation, I think, between the hair and the arms uh, in a couple of the frames, which I'm really uh, enjoying there. Um, I think given the nature of uh, where she's at, then we can probably uh, add a nice glow to the um, to the eye. So like an over, um, uh, over, over bloomed uh, eye glow, so that'll be super fun. And uh, and then in terms of uh, in terms of the legs here, I think we can maybe just get a little bit of um, like motion, uh, not a ton, just a little bit of motion um, for the legs, um, uh, maybe at slightly different cadences uh, as well. So um, you know something like that, maybe. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Okay, short and sweet. Thank you. I'm looking forward to um, going to the next phase here. We're very, very close. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody.